Hey guys, King Gath here with some mod news. Today we've got some add-on packs. We've got a secret city plan contest that just went on and has some cool stuff for you guys to download now. And of course, today is the 28th, meaning it's time for the city plan contest to make its triumphant return. So we'll talk about that in just a moment. First, of course, we've got to thank our patrons who ensure that we aren't paying for stuff out of pocket. You guys are amazing. You are ensuring we can keep this community going for a long, long time. So I'm going to shout out a handful of you today if i don't get to you today and you signed up recently don't worry there'll be more of these videos in the future i'm not going anywhere anytime soon so a huge shout out and thanks to zizia kate shane abrams rm more pie and void king thank you guys all all right let's get into the news today so first up we've got an add-on pack we haven't had any new ones in a bit so it's great to see a new one and that is called enclave here by choo choo one and that's going to add some really cool enclave themed building plans for some of your plots adds in a little bit of world repop and even a radio station so check this mod out it's got a lot of cool stuff uh, i believe it's using some assets from some of of the other enclave mods out there with permission of course really really great uh, thing to see and a lot of you guys have been requesting enclave stuff from us for ages now so that is available now so check out uh, enclave here by choo choo one Next up is actually a patch, but uh, I had never heard of this mod, and then when I started digging into it, I realized just how massive it is. So there is a mod out there, out there called Unique Scavs, and it had its big 4.0 update just the other day for Bomb Drops Day, and uh, this is by Jaren O, or Jaren Zero, and Unique Scavs has a ton of content on it. It's got all sorts of models, it's got recruitable settlers and quests and even new settlements, all sorts of stuff. So you should go check that out because there's now a patch for SS2 for it. And that includes leader cards for the recruitable settlers um, and uh, integration with some of our other systems. So if you guys want to check out a new mod full of all sorts of interesting content, looks very, very uh, lore friendly to uh, Unique Scavs and the Sim Settlements 2 patch for Unique Scavs by uh, Jaren Zero. All right, now, unbeknownst to me, this last month, there's been a secret city plan contest going on, basically just like a private one that some of the uh, regular participants in our city plan contest put on because they were bored of waiting for us to kick off the official one. And uh, they used a very interesting settlement, and that is a mod that converts the Boston Public Library into a settlement. So I'll have a link below to uh, the settlement mod that they used, as well as all of the city plans that I was able to find that they released on that. So those are available right now. You can go grab this and they're all done as outposts. So I think this was kind of like a practice for uh, season three, because in season three, we're going to have people building outposts, which will look markedly different than a typical settlement, since the focus is on lots of places for soldiers to sleep. You're limited to the, to the plot classes you can use, so it changes the uh, design pattern quite a bit. So these are going to be great for those of you who are engaging heavily in the chapter three soldier mechanics. And uh, speaking of all that, let's dive into the return of the City Plan Contest. So uh, with, uh, I think I said Season 3, or with, I guess we're on Season 4 now. Uh, with Season 4, we're going in on outposts. So that means you're going to be designing settlements that are designed to be used for the military mechanics, which basically limit the plots to the uh, non-production ones. So you're gonna, it's going to be municipal, recreational, residential and marshal and the idea is to change the focus change the players focus to managing their soldiers and less on managing production and so these our outposts are going to be designed with kind of a military theme in general, but there's a whole sorts of ways that you can show that. There's uh, the Raider theme, the standard American military theme. You could go Brotherhood, um, even do militaries for other factions that you might not think of having them, Institute, etc. But the idea is to make settlements that look and feel like they're hosting troops who are getting ready to engage in combat. So uh, it's going to be a very interesting season. Hopefully we see lots of add-on packs spawn out of this idea. We are going to be putting out uh, later in the year, we're going to be putting out detailed documentation on all of the Chapter 3 mechanics so that more people can inject different stuff. And I'm hoping that that will also help inspire more folks to put out more building plans so that these cool outpost plans we're going to start seeing uh, have even more stuff to draw from. So those of you guys 
guys who have competed in the city plan contest before. It follows the basic, the same format. We have slightly different rules now because obviously not all the plot classes are going to be involved in this. So definitely check out the link below to our forums where we'll go over the uh, detailed expectations for the settlement. As for the city plan itself and how you make it a flagged as an outpost plan, it's really, really easy. On our web tool, there's a little checkbox that makes it an outpost plan. That's all you have to do. Otherwise, it works exactly the same way. If you're new to the city plan contest, if you've never competed and, you've, and you're considering it, basically all you have to do is build out a settlement in one of your outposts and some settlements and then go through a few steps to export it. And then we have a little process we came up with for how you create the levels. And uh, it's relatively easy. I've got a five minute video that even sands the part about the outpost checkbox. The uh, The process is, is very simple. Um, check out the five minute video and walk you through it. We have a very active forum. The, a lot of the users on there have an open discord they use and they are you're always welcome to join that where you can learn more. So it's a very, very open and wonderful community around the city plan contest and it's a great way to earn prizes so for uh season four we are doing uh prizes just for entering the contest and then of course the uh, people who make the top three and the winner get a little bit more than that we also have uh the masters contest which will happen uh in a, about a year uh, basically we run the contests for a year doing one every month and then we do a masters contest where anybody who competed in one of the previous contests can enter in and it's a little bit more involved but uh, it has real real big prizes usually a big giant cash prize uh, for winning that plus we make these really really awesome videos if you ever want to see some uh, masters at work with some insane settlement designs go search my channel for masters videos you'll see some of the crazy tour videos we put together of some of uh, of those winners but for now we're on the very first contest of season four starts right now and here are your options you get to choose between Egret Tours Marina and Warwick Homestead. I am super excited to see what you guys come up with. And uh, next month, we will have the announcement for the next one. And then we'll do the voting, etc. Just like we always do. Like I said, the only real difference between this contest and the previous seasons is uh, now you're working on outposts instead of just uh, arbitrary settlements. All right, guys. Take care and enjoy the mods.